Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Surviving Mars. We are continuing to scan uh, this area for more stuff. Um, we've got two Earthsick colonists. It's fine. They, we won't worry about them. This building is not working, and I think it's primarily because uh, I just don't have like enough drones. We got a heavy. Uh, uh, drone load here. Uh, I think that I next um, next rocket that I bring, um, I'm gonna need to bring some some drones or something like that. Uh, I do I have that tech for the drone hub production thingy? I don't know that I do. Yeah, the drone assembler. I don't. Uh, I need to research that. Um, it may be something that we want to uh, work on. It's in the queue. We are working on the high-powered jets to uh, get the cargo capacity increased by three, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, I think that I'm going to want to get that. So, those drone prefra prefabs to be constructed in the drone assembler by using metals instead of electronics. That's good. All right. Um, then I was going to work on that, and then I was going to work... I completely forgot what else uh, the other thing was. Um, cryosleep. That's what it was. All right. So we don't currently have any outsourcing. I don't really have the money for it at the moment. So that is kind of unfortunate, but... We got stuff uh, being built, so let's go ahead and just uh, unpause it. Bump up to uh, level 2 speed. And we'll just uh, kind of let stuff happen. Um, well, wait a second. Uh, you. Let's try. Go load up five. Okay, so where exactly is the spot here? All right, that is that is right there. All right. Go ahead and unload those resources there. <laughs> Look at him go! Bling 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 bling, right inside. Um, um, game. I don't know why the uh, mouse decided to just start scrolling there and not respond to, uh, not respond to me. Okay, so did you not actually, you did not actually unload. Can you not actually unload there? This seems like a flaw. I mean, it's highlighting that. But it doesn't look like it'll actually unload there. Anomaly analyzed. Alright. Well, then, unload here. And let's go ahead and set the priority on that. Okay, uh, so, a new text available for research. Let's take a look. Um... Research amplification, research labs, science institutes, and the network node upgrade amplify increases production by 25%, but also increases power consumption. So, does that mean that it that things produce more? It's a little, not exactly clear to me. I'm going to assume so. Um, I don't remember... All right, now my now my. All right, what is going on with my mouse? Maybe my mouse is loose. Hold on a second. It is acting up. Are you fixed now? I hope so. All right, uh, that would be kind of neat, uh, kind of nice. The uh, maximum number of shuttles that the shuttle hub can house is increased by four. Uh, hanging Gardens, new spire building. Hanging Gardens. Uh, 40 
concrete 10 polymers, a beautiful park complex that greatly improves the comfort of all residences in the dome. That's pretty cool. I wonder how big that is. I'd really like to get that. Uh, localized terraforming. I think we had this before. Did we... So, like... I wonder if we got some things that we already had. If that was in that, uh... Thing. Oh, well, alright. Um... Let's go ahead and do that. Ashley, where are you? There you are. Okay. There's nothing else here. Haven't discovered anything else down there, but we do have this one over here. Let's go analyze that. Sector scanned. Go ahead and queue up that one. I wonder if I can get some of you to... Eh, probably not. I don't really want to just shift them down there either. That's out of hub range, but that's okay. These are full on... I mean, they're, they're, they're having problems, but... Uh, stored concrete. Vehicle battery low. All right, what vehicle? Eagle Claw. What exactly are you doing right now? I think you're going to charge up or something. <laughs> Everything seems to have problems right over Sector here for some scanned. reason. Yeah, you're going to charge up. I think. Where are you going? Um, we'll just go charge up. There we go. Sector scanned. Let's actually move you a little bit more central. Nope, nope. Okay. Alright, now you've got this under uh, your cover, so that's good. Um, Alright, how are we doing with our construction here? Do we need more resources? We need more metals. Asher, yeah, sure, what are you doing? You... Okay, you've loaded up a bunch of metals. Is that all that I need? Yes. Okay. So then let's get you uh, picking up some concrete as well. And we may as well pick it up from some of these sources. Let's go ahead and bump up the speed a bit. Okay. And you know, for good measure, uh, let's go ahead and load some of these resources. I'd kind of like to get another uh, another one of you guys. All right, you're full up. All right, so let's go ahead and come down here. Ooh, I like the uh, see the little shuttles in the air. That's pretty cool. All right, let's just uh, sit down here, and the uh, the drones will start working. I'm not sure if the uh, the shuttles are dropping Sector off scanned. anything here. Anomaly found. Ooh, an anomaly. Okay, got one there. Let's queue up some more stuff. Ashley is currently working on this one. Uh, should probably 
check out how full these are. Alright, these are all full. Alright, so we need some more of those. Should take care of those. Any thing else? These may be pretty full right here. I was kind of hoping that they would get, you know, start taking the stuff down there, but uh, it doesn't look like they are. Okay. Well, let's just do that. We got a lot of dumping sites. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Vehicle battery low. These are all full, but uh, I don't think we really have much else out here. Got a bunch of food. How are we doing on food down here? All right, you've got four there, three there, um, and we got a bunch out there. Okay, so it's not not too bad. And a vehicle with a low battery, that is Ashley. Sector scanned. But you should be able to get this all. Mysterious mirages, remaining duration, unknown. We've got the mysterious mirages again? Oh yeah, yep, alright. It's so much stronger this time. You manage to fight it for a minute or two, before you sink into a hypnotic slumber. A hypnotic slum slumber is fine. Inner light, childhood's end. When you open your eyes, you find yourself hundreds of meters above the ground. The panic overtakes you and you wave your limbs frantically as you try to grasp something. Despite the fact that you aren't falling, a strong rope supports you near the trunk of a gigantic tree taller than a skyscraper. You compose yourself just in time, just on time, to hear your sister laughing way above you. What are you doing, Cal? Stop it, silly! You hear her voice directly in your mind. The realization of where you are hits you with full force. You remember that your name is Cal. That you and your numerous clan call this tree home. You take a deep breath and look at the horizon. The bright sun is almost completely covered by a thick veil of red and orange. Leah. Her name comes back to you as she looks toward the horizon, frowning. Cal, another dust storm is coming. Let's finish with these moss veins and get back inside. You clench the rope with your six-digit, two-thumb hands and start climbing towards the last of the moss veins, which keeps the bark of home healthy and alive. Would two thumbs actually be better for gripping, though? I'm not entirely sure if it would. I, it might be more stable in some, some ways. You have to have kind of a more bulbous hand on, on either hand, side of your wrist, though. This one is almost completely dry, too. Uh, you speak out, which upsets your sister. You remember that speaking words instead of sending them had always been an expression of deep, uncontrollable feelings. Only four out of the 300 are still alive. I fear home will not survive for much longer. Mother would be devastated. You both enter home in grim silence. As you enter the dim-lit hollow, the mirage fades and you wake up in your chair. That's just yep. I, it's just a dream, really. I, I need to I need to stop eating that, uh, you know, late night pizzas. That's probably what I should do. So I am guessing. My guess here is that this is what uh, um, Mars was like millennia ago, millions of years ago, something along those lines. We are we are witnessing the the end of the Martian civilization. You know, and I was thinking. Uh, I kind of wish that they would do a um, and I'm not sure how they would do it but uh, a mystery along the lines of the moons of Mars which was a, a book uh, my father subscribed to like a, a series of um, published science fiction novels back in 
maybe the 60s, maybe the 50s, something like that. I'm not sure exactly when it was, when they were published. Um, there were some pretty good books in there. Uh, he, he read to them, uh, he read them to my sister and I when we were kids. Um, I actually only remember two of them. <laughs> one was The Moons of Mars, where one of the moons at least, and I can't remember which one it was, probably Deimos, uh, was actually an alien spacecraft. Um, and right now that's about all I remember other than uh, at the very beginning uh, someone died. Um, and then there was uh, another one about uh, dinosaurs and time travel, and if you died in the past, like like there was the, the, the book plot was about a safari going back and, and hunting uh, dinosaurs and stuff like that, and if you died in the past, you'd be erased from history, essentially, and everyone would start forgetting you, and, and history would kind of fix itself to so that you, you didn't actually exist. Um, and it was just like a, an ongoing thread of, uh, you know, two brothers were on this team when they went back and, uh, you know, on this uh, safari, which, of course, as is the case in these types of, of books, things go wrong, and they get off track and everything like that, and they're trying to get back to their, uh, the way to get back to the present. Um, and so there's these two brothers, and one of the brothers dies, and he, like, the brother slowly begins to forget about him, but he remembers his brother long after everyone else has forgotten about him, and that was, uh, I was kind of found that, uh, an interesting element. Anyway, let's, uh, keep working on this, uh, anomaly. Hopefully before Ashley runs out of battery. This is actually kind of creepy, this this red and green Sector together. Scanned. It's kind of Christmassy. Don't run out of battery. Oh, I think you're going to run out of battery before you can get this. Okay, let's go... Charge back up. Pipe leak reported. Oh, goody. We'll get that fixed, it's fine. Shouldn't you be... open? Why were you closed? Oops. Sector scanned. Alright, let's queue up some more. We're not going to get anything in any of those, but I may as well do them. I hope this doesn't reset the uh, the scanning. There we go. No, it doesn't. Good. That's pretty handy, actually. Breakthrough discovered. Ooh, zero space computing. Uh, research lab and science institute upgrade. A zero space computing research points produ production increased. I like that. I like that. Um, we don't need that. And we don't need that. Printed electronics are good. I want that. And then let's go back to rejuvenation. I'm not sure that I care about the nano refinement. I'm not sure that that's going to be all that useful. I mean, maybe. Late game it, it probably would be. All right. Uh, Ashley... Let's go get you working on that one over there. This is very, very green. <laughs> How green was my Mars? Alright, so... What do we... Haven't gotten any... Uh, thing on those. We are... Working on those. Okay, um... Where are you? You have loaded up there. Let's go ahead and load up from here. Let's load up from here. Okay, you've got a uh, depleted deposit there. All right. Then we will just uh, demolish it. There's still 134 left there, though.
Uh, part of it is this stuff. I, I kind of wish it was clear, you know, where things were and everything, but... Well, you're almost full. Should probably do something about that soon. Alright, you are full up on concrete, so let's go ahead and get it down here. Okay, you were completely unloaded. Now we just need some more concrete. So let's go load that up. Building not working. That's because you're full. That's fine. That'll that'll get taken care of. All right. Now you have a deposit that's uh, depleted. All right. I don't need to care about you too much. See, you're down here. That's fine. Uh, actually... Because this will be a little bit faster to get through. Once that's finished. So we may as well, uh... Let you do that. Sector scanned. You up some more. Pipe leak reported. The shimmering lights sweep through the colony, pulling colonist after colonist into ever deeper states of trance. Inner light fallen to dream. The staff has dubbed the more susceptible ones dreamers, as it seems that witnessing the mirage sends them into a deep hypnotic slumber where they experience intense emotions and physical strain. Attempts to wake up a dreamer had proven disastrous. The colonists screamed, fell into shock, and had to be sedated to prevent a potential heart attack. As you read this, you wonder when you would become one of those unfortunate souls, unable to take care of the colony. Only time knows. So do we have actually, like, uh... We have one Earthsick colonist now. I wonder if they, uh, if they passed away or something. All right, how are we doing here? Uh, we could really use some more scientists. We have an engineer working here. Why? Over here, please. That's right. I got a geologist that's uh, not really doing anything. Um, I do kind of need to set up a dome over here so that I can get this uh, this metal. Uh, well, I guess we could. Do that. Do we want to go with a basic dome or a medium dome? What are we doing on polymers? We've got 77 polymers right now. That's not bad. Not sure that I can get this over here, yeah. 
it would have to be like here, which is kind of awkward. We'll go with a basic dome. We don't need a we don't need a big thing. Yeah, that can be okay. Uh, let's get the uh, cable connection. There we go. And we will build a metal extractor. There we go. And I'll get some, uh, some of the geologists over there once that gets uh, all built up. Uh, let's see, you are... Let's go ahead and load up some more resources over here. And we'll just uh, fill up on with you. Okay. So that's all done now. Let's go ahead and transfer all of these resources there. And you can transfer those resources there. And now we need to get our cable connections to get down there. Okay, there's our cable connections. Now we need some pipelines. Uneven terrain. Oh. Uh, huh. Okay, can we do that? Yes. Okay. Uh, now we just need to uh, build all that up. And we need you to get here. Now the problem with this is that I'm going to need to build some more. Ooh. I'm going to need to build uh, some drone hubs uh, along the way. Uh, let's see. I do still have this uh, malfunctioning pipe here, but it's being repaired. Uh, vector pump. Breakthrough discovered. Moisture evaporator upgrade. Vector pump. Water production increased by 100%. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right. Uh, let's check to see what we've got uh, going on. Let's get that and then start there. All right. Uh, when we come back next time, we will uh, continue surveying all of this. And we will get uh, this tunnel connection uh, built up. And we will get a connection going over here. That will be next time, however. See you then, everyone.